niin, eli meillä on täällä uusi, tosi vanha peli, 30 vuotta vanha peli. <laughs> äh, tää on yksi mun suosikkiroolimista. This is uh, one of my all-time all favorite role-playing games ever. I noticed that uh, when I remember, I think I bought this game uh, 1994 from a, from a friend <laughs> with a 50 uh, finished marks. And it was CD version, which had like music as a CD track. So we are going to start play this today. So it's it's a um, let's make an unboxing. So at that time we had like right this box, and uh, I seem have to have to misplace the CD, but I think the CD might might be somewhere else. We need to look around. Anyway, this uh, that Grondor was based on the famous American writer Raymond Day Faced uh, production, uh, known from Magic and Apprentice. Now, when we have been reading fantasy in Finland, it happened so that this wasn't the writer who was known in Finland. In fact, uh, a Serpent Board series, which was uh, Continuing series, continuing series, continuing series, continuing series. It was like fifth series or something after this book series. That was get got translated to Finnish. Eli tästä kirja kirja lähtee kääntyi vaan ainoastaan se loppu tuotannosta, mikä oli sillä niin että tajunnut yhtään mitä mitä siinä puhuttiin. Uh, so I started to read this and I think this was one of the best fantasy fantasy books I have ever read uh, and writers. Also Dungeons and Dragons, basically. Uh, and what happened that they, they did make book out of this game, which is right here, Petre Control Crondor the Betrayal, where they took the uh, pages of this game. Yes, this is text-heavy game, and made it a book, cutting some some parts away, which were a bit too troublesome. Uh, Crondor. Uh, the developers did make a pre-trail at Antara, which wasn't based in the same fantasy world. And Grondor had like sequel, re Return to Grondor. But uh, I like this, but this didn't generate as much uh, interest. It was 3D game, so at the uh, phase where 3D graphics were evolving in a fast pace. So this wasn't really, I like this, but this wasn't really popular. However, Petrel at Grondor did generate lots of interest. I think my roommate did play through like in a year 2001 uh, when I was studying. So uh, this this was highly influential. But let's start playing. What I'm been doing is to use AI to read out certain parts of the cutscenes because cutscenes had like huge amount of text as well. So we'll start going through this game and I like to tell about old games and stuff and the fact is that this midsummer the game is going to it's going to be like 30th anniversary of this game. So let's stop this uh, rambling and get to the game. And here we are uh, the game in a DOS box. And it's Let's let me let's start it up again. We have sound. You can notice that uh, one of the creators is Neil Har Halford, so it's it's not common that uh, real TV directors get to the game business, but that that, that actually happened. Uh, 
Um, I'm, I'm more like concerned about uh, alt tapping here when I want to actually actually show the use the use the AI AI recorded voice lines for this game. All right, I think we are mostly set here. One by one, he tended the wounds of soldiers' purple wounds, stitched, salved, bandaged, and Fingers slick with alum ointment, he worked fervently to tie off a khaki cord. Then brushed the injury with a light touch that to the untrained eye would see. Only a friendly pat, others would recognize the telltale hand gesture as a magical warning against infection. Don, Owen's side, wiping his hand in a rust-colored cloth. No guarantees, though. The stitches may hold all the way to Lama and then... Again, push too hard and you could be bleeding like a stuck pig on Midsummer's. You did fine, Senior Lockler replied, smiling approval before. Rolling down his sleeve. It'll scar, but it's good for a noble's reputation. Let's the kingdom folk know he's in resting on his laurels, and it impresses the... Ladies. I'll be sure to look you up in Tyburn if ever I need stitching up. Again. The boy accepted the compliment with a humble nod while he packaged away. The rest of his medical supplies, his thoughts focused instead on a third man. Who slumped in the shadows across from them. Despite the manacles that bound. The stranger's hands and the distance that separated them, the boy felt. Dreadfully exposed, his avenues of escape limited should Locklear's. Elven-looking prisoner decide to liberate himself. What did he do? Owen whispered, jerking his head towards the man. Korath? Let's just say that he had the disadvantage of being at the... Wrong place at the wrong time, Locklear said cautiously. He snatched a greenish apple out of his knapsack, offering one to Owen. I have to take him to Cronder. Did he kill someone? Owen asked. No. He attacked you. The senior wiped apple juice from his mouth, shook his head. No, no, not exactly. Well, who cut you up then? Before Locklear could reply, Gorath leapt forward, his chains writhing between his wrists like metallic. Vipers. Gorath. Get out from underfoot, Owen. Assassin in the camp. Gorath. Do not struggle so, Hazeth. I wish to keep you alive. Gorath. But be glad I do not. The goddess of death will show you greater mercy. Alright, so this is our adventuring screen here. We could actually save the game. So as you can see it's yeah, it's it's a 3D uh, scenery much like in a uh, Dungeon Master or Eye of the Beholder and we have three characters here. Thinking only made it worse. And we we can check Check the food stuffs here. There's a rations amount for this can, can be actually spoiled or they can even be poisoned. So <laughs> have have fun and lockpicks because he was some kind of assassin. Gorath seemed distant. Okay. Gorath seemed distant. Though the Mordhell warrior didn't appear grieved about killing the assassin. 
that had followed them from the Northlands, his eyes had a baleful look in them. That seemed something between hatred and rage. Several times he glanced back at the corpse that lay behind them in the dust, his thoughts unguessable from Do you wish to bury him? We could do that. Goreth. It is not our way. I simply am somewhat disturbed that he should come. After me. He was a kinsman. There are other things that trouble me as well. Delican's assistants are slow but not altogether stupid. Another like Hazeth. And you'll only have my corpse to drag before your Prince Arutha. Locklear. Sorry, you don't get off that easy. As long as you are under my command you are forbidden to die, Mordel. <laughs> a badass. I've gone to far too much trouble. Keeping you alive to bury you now. It's time that we took the chains off of you. It'll be far easier for you to defend yourself if your hands are free to swing a sword again. O-W-I-N. You're not just going to set him free, are you? I thought you said he was. Your prisoner. Locklear. He is my prisoner, Owen, but the circumstances are terribly complicated. Even if he chose to sneak off, he'd be lucky to make it to the next town alive. This is the third such assassin we've run into since we left. Okay. The Northlands and I have a feeling that more will be waiting for us. He will be much safer with me and I with him. Goreth. As the boy would be. If he were to whisper the wrong word in the wrong ear, he could easily be the death of us. O-W-I-N. Me? Who am I going to talk to? I'm not even heading in the same direction. Locklear. It wouldn't be a matter of who you talk to, Owen. There will be ears. Listening for word of a mord hell traveling with a noble. Damnation. I should. Have thought about this when you entered camp. For the time being, you're my. Squire. Once we arrive safely at the palace, you'll be free to go your own way. O-W-I-N. But I have pressing business in Tyburn. Goreth. This is not a subject of debate. We must get to Cronder. My mission is of. Critical importance and I don't have time to improvise an easy solution. The only other possible option would be to slit your throat and leave you dying. I have absolutely no desire to do that. Now let's get moving before Delicans. Assassins catch our scent again. They'll likely come looking when Hazeth doesn't. Return from his mission. Okay, so now, now the uh, adventure actually starts. And uh, as a teenager, you are like, what just happened? Why that guy killed the assassin? Why, why there's like guys after, after, after the fact? Uh, and and yeah, uh, I, di I didn't feel like <laughs> reading everything from this gameplay because there's lots of text. So I decided to use the AI to read out loud. But yeah, so he here are three characters, and you can see there's like some numbers, but it's not terribly complicated as a uh, game of this time. So you can have a armor, weapon, bow, rat rations, these, uh, these two spoil, and then even he healing potions. And uh, he's actually, this boy is actually a uh, uh, wannabe mage. So he's just using staff. Okay, hair ball back. I think this helped the uh, healing. And we can actually see the stats and they are like percentage. Uh, this kind of system isn't much use in these days. For somehow this resembles of uh, Quest of Glory. Game of, uh, game series of the games rather than any anything else. But it sim simplified, it uh, resembles to the Chaosium's Call of Cthulhu or basic ro role-playing system, Rune, Rune Quest and su such a temple. But you can actually see what this guy guy actually can do or what they, they all can, can do. Oven can actually cast spells. So 
so I need to click that. Okay, this are probably something you need to look from the manual. Local air is pretty badass. And he's actually one of the one of the characters from the book series. There's not too many. There's like several really important characters from the book series. But at, at this starting group, he's his only canon character. I think he died in the later books. So let's let, let's save and continue our way. So as you can see, we can we can actually uh, traverse pretty faithfully around. So there's a two two D view and 3d view and even bigger map so we are at here uh, mortals were, were mentioned they are dark elves Gorat is a dark elf they are from here first uh, this uh, magic and apprentice book actually is set set here and to the other world so this kingdom here actually got a bit of, bit of mishap because uh, People from the another world actually uh, opened a portal uh, around here, and they fought like something like fifteen or ten years, something like that. So Grondor is here; it's a capital of this uh, this part of the kingdom. So west part of the kingdom, east part of the kingdom is here, uh, and and we need to bring Gorat to there. And it's not elaborated, but his his uh, background story tells that he's he's uh, some kind of defector. So let's get started. How do I how do I change between the main? Okay, so main main is main is here. It's a, it's a chest. Luckily, are created his teeth, and these uh, chests can can be ac actually actually they they can be mined. So, and now as a power player, <laughs> we are going to as a spare go out there. So there has been like huge camp next to us. And there's lots of camps, campfires. And the fact is that you can actually see the enemies from far. But we should go south. But I think we are what we are going to do is uh, circle around a bit and get some experience, and maybe maybe get some something something some a bit more experience resources and kill enemies before we head to the and I mean these guys these guys have a dreadful skills and well trained <laughs> local air armor isn't in a too good shape all, all weapons and armor actually wear out so they are going to break down Yabon Yabon that's that's leading to a village And this is 90s uh, vector graphic, and the trees are sprites, but mountains are 3D objects. Re really simple. It's best if we move through town as quickly as possible. I left the wedding party here not too long ago, and uh, it might raise uh, unpleasant questions if I were seen here again. We may need supplies. The shop here called Crossroads. So it's it's locked building, and we have a key, peasant's key, and then we have a couple big locks, lock picks. Looks like this used to be a some sort of la laundry shop, but apparently has gone out of business. Take a look around. Of course, now now we got much much better armor.
So now, now we got some armor for him, him as well. Left click to save a bookmark file, right click to cancel. So this is actually quick save. Okay, and now now I can see what the what the spells are. Skent of s Okay, he can now sense if the chest has been trapped. Definitely a good idea. <laughs> this is my own own house. As much as I would like to enjoy the opportunity to explain why I'm yet traveling with a mortal. I think we should leave, so yeah. I think the um, mortals were like basic bad, bad guys. There's a lot of background to this, but they are like enemies of the kingdom and everything else. In one book there was, was like this kind of uh, city in north which was fighting the, the dark elves, so. So I have a 20 silver. Eleven armor. Twenty-six gold. Four armor is had a bit sound. These are actually what we need. So pick up, pick up, up, up these when 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 you when you get. This doesn't have any more hot spots. So we could actually actually return to north and this is like really bonkers but any any uh, power player knows that they need to need to like go and uh, pick up some supplies and get experience and stuff like that. I'll, also uh, voin myös kertoa suomeksi tästä. I can also speak Finnish, Finnish about this. So where are we now? What's this place? Something doesn't feel right about this place. When he returned a minute later, he had a grin a look on his face. What did you find? There was an open chest lying on an empty work table. Looked as through it has been rigged with a system of trip wires and flints. The contents were no doubt explosives. Some, some has been up to no good, and we best leave before they get back. Okay. Mortal box would uh, be op impossible open without solving its word lock. And judging by the marks on the face of the chest, others had learned that lesson after much difficulty. So, Korat scanned the runes embossed on the mortal cl clue plate text uh, their only hope of opening the difficult word lock. So this is a way, way to get uh, uh, different kind of <laughs> riddles in, in, the, in the game. In the all the world none can compare to this tiny weaver, this deadly cloth. So silky and fair, silk, uh, tiny weaver and silk. Uh, what's, what's doing silk? Spider. So basically, uh, there's a hard and uh, easy way to do this. Um, easy way is to actually write down each of the each each of the ver uh, letters you can get from the lock, and then figure out the right right answer. But. So now we have a armor that is in a bit pretty okay shape. Okay, now now we get better better armor for the for the group. You, you can see how the how the world is getting dark. So 
So yeah, this has this game has time time of day, and you can you can actually run to the uh, ab ambush if you, if you and you need to rest. Uh, I don't think this has wandering monsters in a sense that you could be am ambushed while while camping. So that's that's one thing. So we are doing a detour here. I'm not going to plan to make too much much detours, but basically I think I played the game. The assassin was a mercenary. Lokran could tell by the hardened set the mortar warrior's face that he hadn't hunted down them down to events wrong done him. Hadn't chased them, them to collect the debt. He had come because the coin had been of the right color and right amount. He would fight the loss. Okay, it's only one. Okay. So this had, had like two uh, styles of uh, attack, but we are going to check if we have something. Despair the AI is blind, target for so short while. So here you can see I can thrust or I can spin, and thrust is much, much more brutal. Uh, <laughs> and of course he misses. And Korath is doesn't seem even he he is a great badass. I think he's just too old. So okay, he's he's doing this stuff. Uh. So the, basically, this is a chess. Search the body and for supplies, but make it quick. If they are more waiting out here, he's let's not be here when they return. Okay, he had pretty good swarm. Well, north is no go. Uh, east is not 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 going to be a sensible way to go. So we are going to return back where we came, because even even this short adventuring was really lucrative. If I recall my geography, this road skirts between the high world and the teeth of the earth. Ultimately, leads past the northern garrison high castle and north Do you, what do you think? Do we take this path? No. Well, let's let's check. Okay, let's go right right direction this time. One of the first games where you can actually actually get lost. Of course, that you, when you got get the overhead map, you you are going to. Yeah, and this has this road lock, so now we can actually go go all the way uh, with the road without actually trying to keep the uh, keep the characters on the road. Which is really cool feature for a game from that that era. So that's a word word look. He gets short when he gets old. He goes out, then it gets cold. Candle. Okay, and this mark is uh, no notifying that, yep, this is actually blessed weapon. So you can have a uh, different blessings, and of course, the guard of death has blessed has blessed best ble blessings for for the weapon. They are actually giving a boost of the uh, chance to hit. With. So these these are first games that actually use the uh, 3D graphics in in big, bigger scale. Uh, the face of the door was covered with the pattern. A strange semicircle fro for formed the only black smudges that joined at the iron door latch. A closer examination, it seemed that the smudges were actually finger beans of some kind. I really should have uh, that cleaned, I suppose. Locklear jerked upright at the sound of the gruff voice. Padding from around the corner at the house, a balding man stopped next to Gorath and held up a palm stained with the black ink. A scribe tends to make a quite a mess. 
occupation hazard. Scribe, among other things, currently have a, a, accepted commission on behalf of the traveling merchant to do a survey of all the mercantile bo boxes uh, in the area. Uh, perhaps you would know be interested in helping and what would the profit of it and what would we profit of it? Kurat said quietly. Information, the scribe replied. I've acquired a book. Hmm, I think you find very interesting. There's a box just west of Hawks Hollow on the southern side of Small Hill. Find out what's in the box and I'll give you the book. Now leave me. I have much work to do. Sounds pretty okay. I think uh, I uh, I have Saregnar had like box that you can actually see from the road and that's on the, on the uh, uh, corner of the road like this. Prince Arasta from the lofty his lofty perch will find our troops without a search. His mind mind fill all his castle do and then what will uh, Prince Arasta do? So cringy. Die. So we have more more stuff here. I wonder if you could... I wonder how those missives actually worked. Someone's calling. Recognizing the uh, lilt of the young voice, Owen turned and looked back down the road. A young squire that had met the party and Yabon was trudging behind them, a bag full of scrolls slung over his shoulder. The squire, squire bade con continentally, and Owen e echoed the motion. What do you think you are doing? We are trying to remain unnoticed, damn. damn. Locklear muttered under his breath, try to behave as normally as possible. Since you know him, you handle him, Owen, and remember Gorat's name is a Torgath. Owen finished, I'm not a child, you know. Locklear whispered, that remains to be seen. I didn't expect to see you again quite so soon. I would have thought you all the way to Lamut by now. Square Philip. I would have been here if the Duchess hadn't insisted on introducing me to all of her daughters. Amelia was the prettiest, I believe, though I think Catherine took a quite a liking to you. Catherine took a liking to everyone at the party. She's as fickle as her mother. She's likely marry Condoin if she can find one not tied to the mar march or not. Condoins are uh, a ruling family. Uh, at the Krondor. True enough, say, I thought you say you were from Tyburn. Uh, why are you taking this road home kind of uh, of a long way around, isn't it? Oh well, yes, but I had to meet up with my uncle Lachler here and my other friend, he is an elf, Torgath. They decided that it would be nice for me to take a tour with them down to Kron of <laughs> Down to Halax, Halax Hollow. I hear it's lovely at this time of year. What are you up to? I'm looking to cash a reward actually. When I was uh, in my way up to Japan last month, I found just this area, but I couldn't pick the lock of, on the thing. Figured it wasn't meant by. meant to be. I left off. Thing is, all the Duchess party, I couldn't help think about it. I had just on the brain. I don't really care what's in it. But I have to be able to pick that lock. Near town. I'm afraid my senses of direction and distance are a bit off right now. We all had a bit of drunk last night and we are still trying to shake off the effects. Which way is the nearest place? We could be get cleaned up. 
Uh, it must be quite a bender if you are that confused. Head straight, uh, straight south along the main road and th that will take you into Lamut. If you are looking for good food, the blue wheel is a solid pager. Though I warn you, there's, then there's Tsurani food can be a bit spicy. Tsurani were the people who actually invaded the realm some like 20 years ago or something. Ins. Any good things that you can recommend? There's a blue wheel in Atlamut. Uh, you might try the dusty dwarf at, in Hawks Hollow. I suppose if you got really desperate, you could try breaking into one of the abandoned houses out of that part of the country, but I can't sleep well in a house that might fall on top of me. Of course, it may well be that the people have moved on out for good reasons. I've heard that several people south of Loria moved out after the contagion began spreading near there. Empty houses. Was there anything left behind any of the abandoned houses you saw? Nothing of real value, bits of food, few cupboards, a personal gold piece, a knick piece, we had foundation of the house. Lost items mainly. The majority of the places I visited had those unpickable locks, what are they called? Weber locks, yes. They had the Weber locks installed, so I wasn't able to get inside. Lost items. I'm not certain that I think I may have misled a very valuable belonging to of mine. I shouldn't worry about it depending where you lost it. The chances are uh, it will still be there. So this was one of those games where you can actually drop your item and go uh, back to get it. You can actually break the... So much for the pair of big blocks. Keith doesn't fit. So yeah, un unpickable lock. Did I get any uh, lock picking? Is five. Uh, actually, lock layer here is much much better at lock picking. And we we get you know who with us. Lock layer has one one friend who. As the old saying goes, locks are for children and fools. I'm no fool. <laughs> okay, we have good armor. Lamut. Do you think we should go in for supplies? So this, this uh, during the Rift War, this was one of the places that were on the on the on the border. So there's like couple hotspots. Garrison was impressive. Captain Belford stood as they entered the loon. It's good to see you once again, Locklear, he said, extending his hand. I share the sentiment. What's the news, have you? How is the Earl Kasumi? Locklear asked uh, as the men shook hands. I think Earl Kasumi was, is, is a man. <laughs> he, they said uh, in a hard wooden chair, as Belford replied. He's well, but he's off taking care of some business with the few new guards. Um, thank you for following, Ruthavan. You have great game coming together. Uh, a few new guards come through the rift from Kelevan. As uh, for the rest of us, uh, we are looking for a group of grey warriors from Kelevan who slipped through the rift just before it closed. Interesting. Uh, Lokla looked a little puzzled. King Lam and Emperor Ikendar granted the grey warriors freedom and new status of the king. I can't actually remember how the grey war Grave Warriors actually connected to the hover plot. Hello, glad to see a back celebration. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it was 30 years, I uh, know, sorry, 29 years ago when I actually bought this game from our friend. 50, uh, 50 uh, Finnish marks. 
Bowl, actually. So one of the best, best, uh, best uh, <laughs> deals ever. One, I know there was time when I got like collection of uh, uh, Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, and Deus Ex and, at the same uh, disc, and that was like three euros. Yes, but the agreement doesn't allow for the nationalization of the stolen goods. Seems they may have uh, abs absconded with the valuable ruby from Makala's entourage, said Belford. Makala, the Surani great one. So great ones are high high uh, wizards of the Surani Empire. O Ovin asked. Belford smiled. Yes, he has been talking to Prince Arta about establishing permanent rift to entourage encourage trade between Kingdom and Kelevan. He's really throwing the way, his weight around, trying to get his uh, ru ruby back. If uh, you should happen to come across it, bring it back here, he's offering a reward. Okay. And this is one of those games where I need to like write everything down. So Ruthavan, how's the uh, Sareknar coming, coming together? Fetcher's post. Okay, so this is place we could actually get our archer's weapons. I want, uh, they are probably going to buy swords. Armor. So basically, you can you can get um, skill points from these. I shall each have. So let's let's do a bit bit work from from with these armors first. You, you can, he can okay. He can improve that. Let's improve that. What else? What else do we have? All for sale. Nothing much. Yeah, I think not. Oh, slowly, but surely. Lots of text to write now. Yeah, that's that's always you need to have like a writer for these kind of, kinds of games. Make it making of business of repairing enemies armor and weapon. <laughs> I wonder if I spot a shoot ball by a light crossbow. I suppose I should save for the big guns like this. And accepted the co their company. Owen chatted idly with the rough looking fellow as Locklear looked on, making certain that his ebullient mood, the magic and didn't sleep and give away the true purpose of their travels. So where are you headed? the man asked, describing a large arc with his ale cup. Any place interesting? Actually, we are not headed uh, any any specific direction, Locklear interviewed. So, Obin was spilling, spilling his guts already. Uh, we are wandering, looking for employer, treasure to watch, caravan to guard, uh, the man's nickered, or a caravan to steal from A. Free booters then, when there's not much going on in the kingdom these days. Not in the West. Prince has seen it, seen to it. His roads are safe uh, and his vassals happy. Like the uh, likes of us, he's taking all the fun out of life. Locklear nodded, you are not the first one to say so. Locklear said, said himself just moments ago. Okay, so... I suppose we could actually go and go and buy, buy the... Do we get some... Not really. 
let's accept the price. Share with the party. All right. The dwarf drew a conscious pipe. Blackbird smoke plumed from the old cutcher's mouth as he studied Locklear, Owen and Gorat each in turn. Although he had long ago lost the use of his left, left eye to a mortal uh, sword stroke, his right eye still burned brightly beneath his bushy eyebrows. I wonder how mortal. I'm 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 uh, uh, pronouncing this as mortal, but I don't know how it's, it should be pronounced it in real. For real, Dubai unlock. Uh, being as a dwarf and forex as much as his own name, uh, I can I recognize a strapping young man before me who had last I saw as as a boy, Locklear. No slight intended, but I fear I don't recall the occasion. As like the rest of you human cannon among you can remember much past a week. Probably their drinking habits by the way. If not for the canny dwarves, you would have forgotten that you had have a kingdom at all. I fetched uh, you out of the cellar al along the score of woman folk at the battle of Shedanon. Oh right, that that's where the yeah, I remember now. That's that's where the Locklear was first introduced. Don't some remember me, Loki? Dupal, of course. Glad to see you. I hadn't recognized you without the eye patch. Uh, what the bard dwarf to do? I want this scratch fair and scare, and I I'll be the dragon's mother before I cover up again. You shouldn't have done so in the first place. Now I just sit here, the chapper with the loon of a Churani bartender and I have a me a fair peers, not much to do with Mac. More than cuddle all collapsed. Lucky the woman I sorry. I I, I think he had to like way way with the ladies. A Barak Nur has been seen down there. They've been offering hefty reward f uh, for its slaying. And I'll might you if the tradition holds to something uh, of a challenge after our fierce beast even by the Swarven standards. I think this is basically a trap. <laughs> I've heard tales of these creatures of the stone. Thank you, Dubal. So Barak Nur is located the next dungeon, and it's like dungeon that leads to the one of the end areas of this game, so the level is kind of rising like this. So we can actually check the first floor, but I'm not like going to <laughs> go much much farther than that because it's it's hard dungeon. Some some kind of newbie trap basically. Surimani clapped twice. Abruptly the festive mood of the room died. The clank of couplets and the scrape of plates falling silent as the bartender sh shuffled between benches to bow at Locklear's feet. Touching a crown carnal fist to his forehead, then to his heart. He so spoke somberly. Be welcome to the Blue, Blue Wheel Inn. May you find the drinks or, uh, to your liking and the company of our patrons pleasurable. If there's anything our servants I may do, you may you need to only ask Sumani. Ah, honors your house as well, Sumani. I'm correct uh, believing this is a drinking establishment. So it is. We serve many of your mid and drinks as well as per few of the from the Tsuranunani Empire as well. Perhaps I might interest you in a cup of coca. Why did you decide to come to mid and open an inn? Anyway, surely you would have to get a better business on Kelevan. I was not always a tavern keeper, as a soldier serving Ho Shin Savai, Elder Kasumi, er Kasumi. I was trapped here when the Grift Gate was collapsed at the end of the Rift War. Yeah, I, I recall it ended that way. It was our belief that we would never again see our families in Tsuranuri or the green skies of Kelevan again. But Tsuranuri warriors traditionally kill themselves if they are in danger of falling captive to an enemy. This is true, Lord, but the air informed us that we were forbidden to dispatch ourselves until given leave to do so by a great one. I believe in Kimia you would call her such a one a magician. 
Until such a time, I content myself with a running blue wheel. I've heard that the permanent drift gate to Kelevan is located near here. I was hoping we could get a glimpse of it. There would be little to see at the moment, and the international conflict had arisen in the empire between House Akoma and House Anasati. The assembly of magicians have ordered the temporary interruption transport between empire and the kingdom of Isles with, until such time conflict is resolved. I have assured that the measure is temporary. So that's why they don't need to <laughs> create create uh, another world in, in this game. Uh, and and I recall that uh, yeah the rift case were really important and and uh, it was some some kind of like fighting kingdoms in, uh, in ancient China. Churanu Empire was was uh, made of different houses who were fighting. One of the Raymond uh book series is is. Uh, trilogy of books and it's it's uh, telling how the one noble lady is fetched from the from the uh, uh, nunnery basically to lead her noble house in uh, empire and this it's pretty cool because she's, she's kind of doing things in really interesting matter combat you said were a soldier with the Churani forces would you have interested in teaching some of of your combat techniques it would be my honor, Lord, but I will require a small fee for my services. If my armor were damaged, I would be ill-prepared otherwise to pay for its repair. 75 sovereigns should cover any potential harm. Is this fee acceptable? Oh, yes! Sounds reasonable enough to me. Deal. I shall meet you by the river in five minutes' time. I should form a new hover. Sometimes seem quite different when I'm armored for battle. Apologize in advance for any harm that I should do do you. Locklear Gap, striding down the narrow doorway of the Blue Wheel Tavern, was figure that could no longer bore any resemblance of the modern tavern keeper. Uh, obviously, having taken this time to refit himself, Sumani had done a pitted suit of blue laminate armor, the graves, breastplate, and leggings of fashioned of the lightweight wood which creaked uh, as he lumbered towards them. So background is that Empire didn't have a wood, so their planet didn't have much of metals, so they ma made everything from wood basically. Surani armor, Locklear asked, Sumani adjusted his, his blue plumed helm over his eyes. I was former patrol leader. The Earl Kasumi insisted that I should keep the armor given to me by House Shin Javai, although I no longer serve in the garrison, my oath of loyalty is still to the Earl. Are you prepared for your lessons? Uh, yes, I think so. The missive is clearly reflected in Surani eyes. Then defend yourselves. Look at me motions for the heart of the lessons as he halts himself for the third time out of the cold Lamutia River. Okay, mercy, uncle, whatever it is your Damnable Turani say when you will want to surrender. Your will, Lord. Suman chuckled, already beginning to resume his modest role as a tavern keeper. I shall meet uh, you inside the blue, blue wheel once you have tried yourself off. Pretty pretty badass tavern keeper. I don't know how much longer armor is going to last, and he did be could get it repaired. So he's giving basically newbie newbie help here. Uh yep. Grey Warriors. We were up to the garrison area and they told that the group of Grey Warriors stole a pair of rubies. Are the Grey Warriors some kind of special armed force of Kelevan? Special, yes, but not in the way of you imagine. The Grey Warriors are the men without honor, men whose houses have been destroyed by the opponent house. Such men must live off land until they die, though I have heard that Mara of the Akoma has accepted many such men uh, into her estate. So Mara of the Akoma was main character in this uh, trilogy of the uh, Daughter of the Empire, I, I think was the name. I, I, have, I have in the shelf back back there, but I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go and rummage around when I'm playing. Others have learned that they may be granted freedom if they can reach the kingdom. Many die trying. 
Where would some such men one go once they got here? Away from Lamut, whatever they might go, through the members of the garrison here, abode by kingdom law. Many of the soldiers still live by Turani custom, as do I. As I do. It's not easy to fight our feelings uh, about grey ones. If indeed these grey warriors have stolen rubies, I suggest seek um, old man with the tainted hover, Kiefer, Alice Cook, uh, in the town of Lor 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 Laurier. Yeah, this this was time before quest journals in games were <laughs> invented. He is a gem merchant there, out of his home. Feds. I get the feeling this ruby theft isn't an isolated incident. Usually, in between my words, there's is six such theft in the past year. Twice the gems have been stolen near the assembly of matching guns, the great one Makalas in Torridge. Interesting. That would be no simple feat to accomplish even for Master Thief. However, whoever it is that is responsible, he must fear little if he doesn't fear the wrath of the Great One. Well, he's probably Crazy One, if, if he, he's stealing from the Great One. I would take the care, uh, care following this Thief fear friend. I sense he is very dangerous. So basically, Turani Great Ones are mages with ridiculous power. I mean, I, I recall there were like uh, the victims of their power in, in in the Magican Master, and it was like crazy. Okay, we got uh, lost lost the connection. Let's get the connection back. All right, do we have a connection? All right, that's that's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thank you for your services, Sumani. You have wonderful establishment. It's very <laughs> Turani. Ah, uh, Loki, Loki, Loki. Your patron is for us. <laughs> okay, goodbye. I promise. I'm if I'm ever in Lamut again, I'll be sure to drop in for a bit of something to eat. Okay, and now we have party. <laughs> this is one of the few games actually who actually show how bad your character is to play it out, out, out. The seven keepers. So he's he's. He's actually able, Obun is actually able to uh, get, uh, earn some money in the end, end chapters of the game, if he levels up the parting. And I think it needs to be like a, a lot, lot, lot over 50% that it, he actually, actually gets, starts to get something. But yeah, it's, it's something that you can actually, you can actually, uh, well, put money to the trading loot. That that's all. Trading is always good. <laughs> 